Hey, what is up YouTube? It is Harrison Barron here. And today I want to talk to you guys briefly about five things I did wrong when I first started my business. So, so the first thing I did wrong, in my opinion, is I didn't set up a good enough business model. So what is a business model? A well, business model essentially is how your business is going to be structured. When I first started my business, I really started out as just doing social media and didn't realize that there's so many other things that complement social media that I could really dig my teeth into. And right now, the way I look at it is I could have easily gotten significantly larger, probably faster, and landed much bigger clients had I changed my business model to really incorporate a lot of things. One of the things that I realized after starting my business is that Grant Cardone came out with a great book, uh, The 10X Rule. And one of those things in the books is he says, just say yes, just commit to everything. And the reason why you commit to everything is because chances are pretty good that if you can't do it yourself, you know a colleague that's doing something similar to what you're doing, and you could hire them to do it. You're still gonna get a little bit of revenue out of it, and you're gonna pay your colleague, and yes, they're gonna get a majority of the money. But the nice part is, is being able to be being able to say yes constantly. So no matter, hey, can you build a website? Can you build an online food delivery ordering system? Or can you build a landing page? Whatever it may be, can you do an email marketing campaign? The answer is yes. And a lot of business owners, especially in the B2B space, they understand that not everybody's gonna be able to do everything. And because of that, they're willing to work with you. So for example, me as a small startup company in the beginning, if I had an issue, I could easily go to another company and say, hey, I'm really having a problem. I agreed to do this for a customer. What do you think this costs? I want to pitch it to them. And worst comes to worst, they give you a number that's a little too high that the customer can't afford and you say no. But at least you said you could do it. And you say, hey, you know, oh, I'm not really too sure how, it's, how much it's going to cost. You know, I've done things similar to that, but I'm not 100% sure. It's probably in this range. And you should have a pretty good idea of what those numbers are. After that, you can give it to them and then boom. Hey, do you want it or do you not want it? Is this something that might interest you? And if so, this is what it's going to cost. Not a big deal. Number two, I didn't vet my softwares well enough. I run a media company. I do social media, email marketing, and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't vet my softwares well enough. And I say that because I started out with Hootsuite and there's nothing wrong with that platform. It's actually a really, really good platform. But I just started out with social media and Hootsuite was really good. The problem with Hootsuite is, is scaling. Hootsuite is really good for small businesses that only have a couple accounts or really big businesses with a ton of accounts. But there's a major separation gap in between. And because of that, I constantly had to test out new software and then there was limitations in Hootsuite that I really wanted, that I couldn't do, and all of these different things. And I didn't compile a list of everything that I could be working with from Hootsuite, to Buffer, to eClincher, and Hey Orca, and there's all of these different softwares out there that are already made that you can buy, but because I didn't vet them well enough, I didn't vet any of them. I just was like, ah, you know, everybody seems to be using Hootsuite, I should probably go use Hootsuite. Turns out there's other ones that are better for what I'm doing. Now, Hootsuite's really good for a lot of things, and they're all really kind of specialized in certain things. You have to figure out what you need and then vet that out. And I say software, and I'm using Hootsuite as an example, but what kind of CRM are you gonna use? Is it gonna be Zoho? Is it gonna be Salesforce? Is it gonna be HubSpot? All of these different CRMs. I tried Salesforce. I burned my money on Salesforce and I hated it. And I got overpromised, underdelivered. it stunk. Not for, not for me. Really big companies that have crazy budgets and can pay for customization, all that kind of stuff. It's really, really, really good for. For me, HubSpot is really, really good for me. It can track everything on my website, it can do my email marketing, and so many other things. But in the beginning, I didn't vet it. So that's not only money that I spent on different things, but I could have sold that and made money on it had I vetted it earlier and put together a list of these are the pros and cons of everything and not just relying on Google Pages, which is not a bad thing. It's a good place to get a head start, but really sitting in and really educating myself on the tutorials. Third thing I messed up. I probably started a little earlier than I should have. That's not a bad thing. I personally was in a not the greatest spot with work and stuff like that, and I really, really, really wanted to leave my job. Nothing against that old company, but I just was really looking forward to getting out of there and starting my own business. And I may have jumped in a little too early. One of the biggest things that I messed up, and I'm gonna talk about this in another video, is I didn't replicate anybody's model. And the reason why people have models is because they work. 
And a lot of it in this business world is you're not really creating anything new. Even if it's a software, your business model is going to be different than, you know, a retail shop. But software companies are typically going to have a licensing model or a sales model or some kind of model that they're going to be on. And every other IT or sales company or retail company or whatever it is, is going to use that exact same business model. And the reason is, is because it works. That's really the reason why they have these business models. And because I was too small minded and I was said, I'm just going to start out with social media and I didn't really you know, leap, go leaps and bounds to start with this bigger business model replicating, okay, this is what this company's doing, this is how they're doing it, let me just replicate that. What I really went into was I'm gonna do social media and I'm gonna be a social media expert. And then I became a social media expert, and which was great, but I only had this much of services to offer when I could have easily offered this many services for not that much more hard work. And really the loss comes into not being able to pitch people because maybe not everybody needs social media, but maybe they need a website or maybe they need a CRM solution or maybe they need email marketing. And in my eyes, that was lost opportunities that could have put money in my pocket, which kind of stinks, but you live and you learn, right? And last but not least, this is gonna be probably a shorter video, but this is probably the most important thing out of that entire list I just gave you, is don't sweat the small stuff. You're gonna lose clients. It's literally the most, it puts knots in your stomach. If you care that much, it puts knots in your stomach. Your gut, it's just inevitable. People change, they don't have a budget anymore, you know, finance changes, whatever it may be. There's a million reasons why people cancel services. It's just the nature of the beast. There is enough business to go around everywhere. Same thing with just about everything in business. Most things are small stuff. And, but you make it really big stuff because you have, that's your job. You, your job is to focus on your business. It's your baby. You want to carry it and love it and nurture it and, and give it all this time and attention that it really, really deserves. And it does. But most things you do are small stuff. And when it's small, when it's all small stuff, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just, there's no need to spend that time, energy, and effort on things, you know, oh, I lost you know, money here, I lost money here. As your job as an entrepreneur is to buy and test and, and see if it's gonna work. And then if it does work, sell it and, and then keep the cycle going constantly of what you're doing and how you're doing it and all that kind of stuff. And the reason is because you it takes a while to figure everything else out. You know, if you see another company and you can replicate their business model, but you don't think they're doing a good enough job, you might have to vet that software and it's gonna take a little while and you might have to spend some money on it and it kinda sucks and especially if you don't have an investor. But don't get angry, it's it's all gonna be okay. You're, you know, if you lose your biggest client, that's something to worry about. But if it's a smaller client, it's bound to happen. But you have to work on different areas to make sure you mitigate that risk and even if they do leave, okay, well you got another client coming in so your money's still gonna stay the same and your work is just gonna kind of adjust. But definitely figure out your business model, first of all. See a company, replicate what they're doing. It doesn't have to, your work doesn't have to be the same, but look at how they're doing it. Sit down with those business owners. A lot of business owners too will give you most of their secret sauce. They're not gonna give you the secret sauce. They're gonna give you most of the secret sauce. And the reason is because a lot of business owners are really not selfish people. They really want to see other people succeed. Taking the leap of faith, you know, when I first started my business, you know, everybody was like, hey, congrats, you know, welcome to the club, congratulations, best of luck on your company, you know, hey, if you ever need help, give me a buzz. Like, you're not in, you weirdly are in competition, but you weirdly want everybody else to succeed. It's the strangest thing. So, you know, figure out your business model, look at the big picture, vet your software, don't sweat the small stuff. That's like the most important one because you're gonna test software that sucks. You're gonna, you know, start small and work your way up and not offer the biggest thing, biggest amount of services possible because you just don't know it all. But you're gonna learn it over time, I promise you. But don't sweat it, you know. Oh my God, I wasted all this time. Of course you did. You know, it, it's happened. We're humans, we make mistakes. Move on from that and then proceed forward. And then, you know, take what you learned you know, I've been in business for a year and a half. I can take everything that I learned in a year and a half, crush all together, and that puts me to where I am today to skyrocket me into the future. All right, guys, this is Harrison Barron, the entrepreneur. I'll see you guys later. Bye.